All right, so having the gooseneck with the 450 is an absolute cheat code. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? All right, so we are, you know, empty lot here. I wanna go over the gooseneck versus uh, bumper pull, the last sure track trailer I had compared to this one. What you guys should do, um, if you guys are actually, oh, my hair's a mess, but anyway. Uh, if you guys are on the fence about a gooseneck or a bumper pull, I'm gonna give you my thoughts here. Basically, uh, the gooseneck is a pain in the ass if you're unhooking and hooking multiple times a day, or I mean, even once a day. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt compared to a uh, bumper pull because as long as you have a backup camera, you back right in, boom, done. I do have a bed camera as well in the truck, but it, uh, even then, it's, it's, it's just a little more pain. It's a little more time consuming. So I will say if you're doing like a, like a drop off and pick up multiple times a day kind of thing, definitely get a bumper pull. Like if you're in the debris to, removal to business or anything like that, definitely get a bumper pull because it's, it's going to be easier for you and it's just gonna be it's gonna be time it's it's gonna save you time so now if you don't have to do that like me or i drop something off and it stays on a job site for multiple days at a time uh, or even weeks depending on what it is uh absolutely the goose and there's some very nice benefits of a gooseneck one being the turning radius i'll throw some b-roll footage here uh the, the yeah the the 450 with the gooseneck you can you can go hard over and man you can you can get in some tight spaces like making these 90 you know 180 turns and stuff uh it's it's nice it's absolutely i even had one guy say like, dang you made the corner i'm like I, yeah that's a 450 turning race plus the gooseneck so and if you guys haven't seen the gooseneck basically you can obviously go all the way over to where it touches the cab you're not you're not worried about hitting a tail light or anything like that if you jackknife a, a bike a bumper pull or anything like that so that is uh very nice it's that's great actually so uh let's go into the pros and cons all right so pros of the gooseneck yes turning radius fantastic it does carry the load and since it right you can see it right it's right over the rear axle of the truck it carries the load better it just tows better period that's that's and i think that is pretty much that's why you see all these heavy uh over the road truckers you know like the hot shotters they all have goosenecks because it just tows that much better and it is noticeably that much better even with my tool trailer on the back with my <clears throat> my red gen y hitch here uh it, it you can feel you feel the bumps you you know you, it's just goosenecks just tow better so if you're going long range or long distances to a gooseneck fifth wheel are going to be the way to go as well as well as they should be as well so you do lose some payload because obviously goosenecks way more than the corresponding bumper pull because they're just more iron. You guys can see there's more iron involved. So I lost about, I think about 500 pounds, 400 pounds compared to the actual uh, bumper pull version of this, which I had brought prior, which again, this is a 16 foot. My last one was a 14 foot. So they're not exactly comparable, but, and it, you know, you have one, you have one Jack. I have two now here as well. So, Keep that in mind, these are both 16K trailers, and I am not, since I have a 16 foot length, I'm not putting an extra board rail up there just because I like having, I like being able to like reach over. So, it's, it's very nice. So, back to the gooseneck, first bumper pull. Weight-wise, goosenecks are gonna weigh more. They are easier, now there is a learning curve for driving these and backing these up, and my wife told me <laughs> the first day I had this and I was trying to back up inside our driveway, it took me a while. <laughs> And she's like, how are you gonna buy a trailer you can't back up? I'm like, hey, hold on, uh, give, me, give me a few minutes here to actually figure this out. Cause there is, a, the, the trailer backs up different than a bumper pull. So, and again, if you're coming from a gooseneck to a bumper pull, you're gonna have a learning curve as well. I will say uh, bumper pulls are easier to back up just because I have so much, so much practice with them. Uh, you know, you you're kind of predictable. And these ones are a little less predictable, especially with the wide track on the 450 here. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Uh, I will say, uh, if you can, get your hydraulic jacks. I I'm going to upgrade these babies eventually because 
it, yeah, it, get yourself, if you can, spec it out, get hydraulic jacks. It's just gonna save yourself in the long run. Yeah, it's a little more expensive. Man, just do it. I mean, it's, they are fantastic. Even I don't, I don't unhook this very often. Like you know, maybe once, twice a week, and maybe three or four times every couple weeks to three weeks because it's on job sites. And even then, it's just like man, it's a, it's a chore. It absolutely is a chore. So keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, between the bumper pull and the gooseneck. I do like the gooseneck more for what I do. If if you're unloading and loading, and unhooking and unhook uh, and hooking up multiple times a day, you're gonna want a bumper pull. It's just gonna be more efficient for you. That's that's just the case. Cause when I unhook this, I gotta take the bed down, climb in the back of the bed, climb in the back here, unhook the change, unhook everything, and then you know then I can jack everything up and then pull forward, and then I have to. If I'm hooking it up, then I gotta come back, lower the tailgate, then back it up. And uh, yeah, then I have to basically lower the tailgate, then I can back it up and then, you know, drop the jacks down uh, on the ball, then climb in the back. So it is a little more pain in the ass, you know, that's, but again, if you're only doing it once, twice a week, the gooseneck, it tows better. It, you have more space. You can put a deck on the neck if you want to. I'm putting a solar panel up there. We're, we're gonna, you know, so we can get, and you have obviously more storage for tools if you get the uh, gooseneck, because you just have more right there as well. I definitely recommend the telescopic hoist because efficiency. So, and that's basically it, guys. We'll go through what I dislike about this trailer on another video, but it is amazing, and definitely get yourself a dump trailer. They are the one of the most money-making things I own besides my truck and my tool trailer. <sighs> I think that's all I got for you. Appreciate it, thank you.